all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're trying to see how to stop a web application such as flux or Django or any web application that is running on python without using control c so by default in case you are running a flux app or a Django app like this if i come back if i copy this one here and then i go to my terminal and i paste it here you can see that the app is running pivot right so this is the app that is running well, now in case i want to stop it by default the option to stop an application just go with control c right so if i go with control c the app automatically stops right the server stops running and then i can't have access to it again okay. right i cannot have access to it it's just gone pivot so how do you do the same thing stop this particular application for running without pressing control plus c so the simplest way is just going like this so let's run it like this so the app is running as you can see this is the app that is running if i go back to this one out the app is running so how do i stop it without pressing control plus c right without this the simplest way is just go back to your terminal and we'll be using the process manager so if i go with ps os right and then let's grip the the running app if i go with grip then let's say i want to grab python because this is what is running python 3 so python 3 then let's say manage dot pi if i go with this you can see that these are the three processes that is running this particular app right so these are the things that have been spun up to run our app right so manage dot pi this particular same stuff i can be more explicit and run it like this so run server right perfect so the option of killing it without going with control c right in case you are working it in a script or in a pipeline or something is you have to pick the process id and then you stop it right and you use pk so you can just get the process id by just going this this is the process id you can also use the same thing this command here or you can just go with pgrip which is a simple format for this then just go with my f right then you pass in my Wait, so Python 3 manage dot pi the run server. It's also going to give us the same process ID, right? So this command here is the same command we are having here, right? The same thing. And once we have the process ID, we can actually kill it. So how do you kill it? You can easily do this something like this. So this is the first method. This first method is just go with this. The first method, which is the simplest, is just go with we already have these ones, right? You can just come back again to the IDs that you have, right? And then you just go with my pipe. You pipe this one to you go to pipe this one to this option here. Pipe it to S -ax. So S -ax is a very nice function that allows you to be able to do things in power, right? So S -ax, then I'll just go with kill dash nine. Dash nine means kill it completely. So it's going to shut these three processes there off. Right, and you see that it automatically shut down. You can see that it just got killed here. Right, and if I go back to the app, it is no more running. If I go back to the home, it's not running. Right, so that is the first method. So you just have to first get the process ID using this particular command or this command for the full stuff. Then, or you can just use the pgrip, which is the simple format or the shortcut for this, and then you just pass it to kill right so this srx is used to run multiple tags so it's going to apply this tax on at the same time to this process id the next alternative let's do that is that i'm going to run it again so let's clear up this run this one let's check and see if it's working so we run it the app is working the next alternative is just to go with this option here so i'll clear up this and then we already have our processes running here right as you can see the simplest approach is just go with this option which is p kill right so just with p kill process kill right and then you just just go with this dash nine as you did earlier on then you just pass in dash f right so this is a simple format so process kill nine just as you did earlier on dash f and then you pass in the keyword which is the same thing we had here so python 
3 manage dot pi run server right so this is going to kill it automatically so if i run it you are going to see that it's going to kill it here so now it has killed it right so this is the simplest approach so either you just go with this option here this option in which you pass it there either the first one which is the simplest one very simple or you just go with this same thing right to kill it very nice so that is how to stop a server Django server flash application or any python process without using control c from the terminal right so this is very very useful what is the use case so the use case is in case you want to stop the app at a particular time you can just come back again and stop that app. so let me show you what i mean another use case so i'm running the app so i'm running the server and i want to stop this my app at a particular time right so i can just go back again and just do this option here so i want to stop the app at let's say a time that i want to stop it so let's give it a simple time so it's going to be something like this so we have the command of add so let's say add if i go with add add is a simple command so in case you want just go with sudo apt install apt right so it's going to install apt for us in case you don't have it so this is how to install it now after installing apt you can use apt to schedule a task so in case i want to stop it at a particular time this is 8 12 i want to stop it at let's say 8 13 i can just go with this option here of echo so you just go with the command this is the command we want to run right and just go with echo then i'll pass it into this option here so i want to get the yeah so echo right you are echo echoing this out right so this is the command that we ran earlier on to stop it then when you run it you are going to now pass it to the time so you pipe it you are going to pipe it at a particular time so at now so now it's 13 i want to stop it in the next one minute so plus plus let's say one minute so in one minute's time it's going to stop the application right so this is 13 so from now to 14 this is the schedule time so at 14 it's going to stop the app already in case you want to see the already scheduled job just go with at kill right or at dash l right so it's going to schedule it so at this particular time this command is going to be executed it's going to stop the app so that is a very simple use case right so that is how to stop it and automatically you can see that it just stopped the app here right killed it after that time you can also make it in seconds in case you want to make it in seconds so let's run the app again so the app is running in case i want to kill it in the next say, 30 seconds instead of going with this you don't have this we don't have this approach we don't have one second there's nothing like this but the simplest way to kill this is just go with this option here so add at now right and then you just come to this place and then just pass in this is sleep so i have my sleep here then let's say sleep for say in 10 seconds right then i want to pass in my command right so sleep in 10 seconds i want to pass in this particular command there so let's run it so in 10 seconds it's going to stop the app right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it's going to add 10 to it and as you see it stopped it so there's another way in case you want to use seconds right so you have seen how to stop your django application or your flux application or any python program without pressing ctrl c in an automated way using pkill right so process kill you grab the process p grip to grab the process and you kill it with this option or you just go with this particular approach pk and you have seen how to combine it with at right to do it automatically you can also use cron jobs to do the same thing so thank you for watching this tutorial see you in this tutorial see you another time stay blessed bye